What's up crafters? So a while back I created a video about removing backgrounds. This is if you were to import something from Canva inside of Cricut Design Space, removing everything around it, and then getting a cuttable SVG file out of that. I had a comment on that video asking about some changes, making sure that everything is okay. And I want to go through and test out some of the older things that I've done and suggested to you guys, because I know that Cricut has been pushing out a lot of updates. So for this video, we're going to retest removing the background inside of Cricut Design Space. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to canva.com. Now Canva is free to use, but I am gonna say I do have the pro account. It just made the most sense to me. I do a lot of stuff inside of Canva. I love the ability to be able to download SVG files and transparent backgrounds. So me having that just, it made the most sense. But what I'm going to show you is the process is if you didn't have pro. So we're gonna go to the top right hand corner where it says create a design. Now for this, I'm just gonna go with a basic Instagram square thing. It's going to pop up a blank document. There's different templates and things like that that you guys can mess with. But on the left hand side, let me move this really quick down here. All right, so on the left hand side, you're gonna see different navigation. You've got design, elements, text. We're just gonna do a basic text. I'm gonna add any kind of subheading because we're gonna be changing the fonts and things like that anyways. So grabbing this and pulling up our fonts, let's go with, we'll go with a little scripty font and we'll do happy Halloween going to make this slightly bigger. So this is the design that I'm going to download and then import inside of Cricut Design Space. In order to download it, we're gonna go to the top right hand corner. We're gonna go to share. We're going to go down to download. And then here, this is what you guys will see. So this PNG is what you guys are gonna wanna download. It will have the white background. If you had the pro account, you could just download it as a transparent background, or you could actually go in and select an SVG, which will give you, which will give you everything that you really need to jump straight into cutting it. But we're gonna go with a PNG file, download it, and then a pop-up, yeah. It should ask you where you wanna save it. Now, I'm saving it to my desktop. I do not recommend saving it to your desktop. I have folders within folders within folders where I continue to put things on my desktop and then group them all and throw them into another desktop folder. So you, you know, be a little bit smarter, work, work the folder system, don't save things to your desktop. So we've saved this not to our desktop, but into an actual folder where you'll be able to find it later. When you open up Cricut Design Space, this is their new layout. They've changed it a lot. I float back, back, I was floating back and forth in between the previous version and their beta version of this thing. It was really weird at first when it changed. I remember texting my friend and being like, girl, what on earth have they done to Cricut Design Space? I don't like it. But everything, everybody changes. We're all going through changes. It's like the moons. So we just, we just gotta roll with it. We just gotta roll with it. So I will make another video at a later date going over the new changes, where you guys can find the navigation and stuff because those videos that I have now are definitely out of date. But to start a new project, we're gonna slide on over to the top right hand corner, it, the big green button and go to new project. Your thing will look something like this now. We're gonna go over to the left hand side. You've got your normal navigation. We're gonna go down to the second to last button that says upload. We're gonna go to upload upload our image, browse, and we are going to find our image on the desktop. I selected the PNG file. Now you will see select your image type. You have simple, moderately complex, and complex. Now I'll be honest with you, I float between complex and simple. If I don't get the results that I wanted with complex, I'll just go back to simple. Nothing has exploded on me or anything like that. I haven't broken anything. So we're just gonna go ahead and click complex. But honestly, you probably could click simple because it's not really that insane. Now here is the background remover option, right? There are a lot of different things that you can use to help remove the backgrounds. Over on the left-hand side, down here underneath manual, 
you have select, erase, and, and restore. So select is going to give you a crosshair thing. You just click and it removes whatever is there. Erase is going to give you a eraser circle. You can adjust the eraser circle size. I've never had to use this because the manual select thing has done pretty well for me. I'm not sure when you would need that eraser, but it is available if you ever need it. So we're gonna go ahead and take out these insides. If you end up, for whatever reason, accidentally taking out the wrong thing, you have these arrows right here, and you could either go back or you could redo your mistake. So I'm gonna go back and undo me taking out Halloween. We're gonna continue to erase all the pieces that we need to erase. If you need to, there are zooming in capabilities right up underneath that. Don't be afraid to use that. Like, these things are there, use them. I know I've been stubborn before and just refused to zoom in because I just didn't want to, because I'm grown, I can do what I want. Don't be like me. <laughs> if you need it, zoom in. Once you've got your stuff all erased and you're happy with what you've got, hit apply and continue. Now you're going to be brought to cut image or print image. If this thing had clip art and additional little cutesy things on it, go for a print and cut. Like if that's your end goal, go for the print and cut. Make sure you save it like that. But because this is simple and we're just going to cut it out of vinyl, we just go with a cut image. These name and tag options, it says optional. Don't believe it. It's not really optional. Like it is, but it's, it would help future you out so much if you filled in the tags. I will say spacing is important. I cannot tell you how many items I have lost because I did not space properly when I saved my stuff. So spacing is important. Tags will help future you. If you care about future you, you will fill out these tags. If you say future you, that is a problem for you, by all means, forget future you. But I'm telling you, my future self has thanked me several times because I filled this out. So fill these out, okay, and then upload. It will go into your library of SVG files and little things that you've collected. We're gonna select that. You'll see the green box around it. We're gonna go down to add to canvas and it will pop up in your thing. So it looks like the process that I showed you guys before still works, everything is still okay. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send me like a screenshot of the issues that you guys are having so that I can try to work out some problems. I know that I've gotten some comments and just based on the way that it's been said, I'm not sure exactly where things are going on or going wrong. So if you guys can send me an email with a video or even upload a video to your own YouTube thing and tag me in it, I'd be happy to try to troubleshoot it that way. But some of the comments, I'm just not sure how, I'm not sure how to help. And I want to help. I really do. I just, I'm not sure where to start. So if you guys run into problems, screenshot, send me pictures galore and shoot them to my email address, please. I, I, I want to help. I'm just not sure how. So if you guys want more practice in removing the backgrounds inside of Cricut Design Space, be sure to check out this video here.